good day friends it is me HL my tech and I saw a user on reddit ask how to make a curved rail I've got an idea so let's get cracking so my friends step one of course is create new design once it launches I first thought this user was talking about a spiral staircase but I think they might have been talking about just like a round banister so let me show you how I would solve this First, I'm gonna bring in a cube and I'm gonna make it small. I'm gonna go all the way down to size five. I'm gonna use fit view to get close. And then I wanna take the length of this thing and I wanna make it 50. So now I've got a long rail like a banister. One way to round it is to just hit two and boom, you've got a rounded shape. You could change your steps. I don't want that though. I'm gonna try and make it so it has a fancy shape. So I'm gonna put this back to zero. And then I'm going to put the work plane on the end of it and I'm gonna go to advanced shapes. Out on page 12 is this awesome little dude called the Meta Fillet. When you find it, and it is a lot of clicks to get there, you can bring it out, and then when he comes in, we're gonna use him as a whole. If you hold down shift, you can shrink it so it fits the right size. Notice it's five by five. I'm gonna put the work plane back to the ground. I'm going to align these. I make the red one the master, and I want it to be left edge, top edge. If I grab this little fellow and I stretch him across with the black handle, I just want to make sure he goes all the way past. Because I'm going to do this more than once, I'm going to do Control D. That way I've got another one over here. But friends, if I group this, you have just almost immediately created a rounded shape. Well, what if you wanted something that rounded on both sides? Well, if we look back here, just two clicks back is this arch. So once again, I'm gonna put the work plane here. And what that does is it brings the arch out in this direction. Once again, I'm gonna make it a hole, put the work plane back to the ground. I'm gonna look at this from a corner. This view cube is handy for doing this. And I'm just gonna find the shape that I think looks cool with this. I'm gonna stretch it all the way across. I'm going to line it up. Red one is the master center center if we group that and i'm going to do control d just so i can do one more of these if we group that we've just created another style of banister let's do this one more time but let's use a combination of things so once again i'm going to put the work plane out here let's bring out this arch i'm just going to shrink it to the size that i want i'm going to put the work plane back to the ground I'm going to shrink it so that it fits the way I want. Make it a hole. And let's stretch it all the way across. I need to do D to drop because I accidentally put that one too low. And then this time, I'm going to multi-cut. Watch this. If we bring out a trapezoid, I'm going to hold down shift and make it tiny. And then I'm also going to flip it. Now, because I can't see that well, I'm going to use fit view. And I want to flip it this way. And then I want to rotate it 90 degrees. Remember when you rotate, if you go out here, long ways away from the shape, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay close to the shape, it uses those tick marks. Now, I'm going to make this short, a hole, and I'm going to make it come all the way over here. And I'm just gonna stretch it all the way across. Once again, I could type 50, that's a lot smarter. And then I'm gonna do Control D, because I want two of these. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge the other one across. Let's zoom back in on the front of that. So I'm gonna switch corners by hitting the view cube. And I wanna pick a distance I want these to be apart. So I'm gonna switch my grid to something tinier. Let's go point 0.1. I'm gonna pick that as my measurement. And if I shift click these two and I group them. So now that I've got these two grouped, I can grab my little project here, choose a line, and then this groove that I just added will be right in the middle of that shape. So let's see what complex design I just made. If we hit group, now I have got some kind of fancy banister. 
This is the kind of trick you can use to take your square shape you started with and turn it into anything cool you want. So I hope that's useful. I'm still not quite sure what you're trying to do, but hey, these are cool skills either way. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.